Hi everyone, we're going to talk about the BANSA and SAFE operation procedures. Uh, the first five are always the same um, for any tool um, and basically they are operate with only instructor permission and um, basically that's what we're going through right now. Remove any jewelry, eliminate loose clothing, confine long hair. For those ladies and gentlemen who have long hair, we need to confine it uh, so it doesn't wrap around moving parts. Make sure all guards are in place and operating properly. We'll go over the guards uh, when I do an in-person demonstration. Always use proper eye protection, the most important um, thing wearing in the shop. All materials must be inspected of defects such as warps, knots, and foreign objects such as nails. Never safe to cut a piece of wood with a nail into it. Um, and number six, keep uh, safety guards in place. Upper guards should clear the stock by about five millimeters, so very small amount. Um, small, uh, your finger shouldn't be able to fit underneath it. It prevents us from uh, having accidents. In the bandsaw, you know, you can have uh, some pretty nasty accidents with this machine. Uh, make curve cuts gradually and use a relief cut for high tight radius curves. Um, I'll demonstrate what that means later on. Never back out of a cut while the machine is still running. Okay? If your blade becomes stuck, uh, never just back out while the machine is running because you can take the blade off its track and um, it can break the machine and you can hurt yourself. Uh, so always make sure the machine comes to full stop and then move your piece of wood from the blade. Make all cuts on the waist side of the line so that um, it falls off into an open area. Always keep your hands on the side of the blade while operating, never in front of the blade. Uh, so that means keep your fingers, wherever the cut line is, keep your, keep your fingers one inch on either side of it. Always use relief cuts as, may, as mentioned earlier when making tight radius cuts. Make cur curve cuts gradually. It uh, puts a lot of tension on the blade and we don't want to twist the blade off. Maintain a well balanced position and feed the work through the blade firmly but without pushing too hard. Uh, you may find soft spots in the wood and if you're pushing really hard and your hand is slightly behind you may uh, push your hand into the blade which is never a good thing. Never set the machine with a stock touching the blade, never reach under the table and never perform layout work while the machine is running. Anytime you do anything with the machine you should always turn it off. Turn the machine off and disconnect from the power source before installing or removing accessories before adjusting or changing setups or making repairs. Um, you won't necessarily have to do this, but I mentioned this anyway, uh, just in case you own one of these later on in life or if you have one at home, um, good um, maintenance procedures is to completely unplug the machine so there's a fail-safe fail -safe, uh, backup plan just in case something does happen. And that's the uh, band sound safety operation.